don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football as usual. I am your host, Selassie. Today, some interesting piece of information for you. We're going to talk about Maxwell Konedu. He has been announced as the best coach, ESPN best coach of the just ended Wafu 2019 tournament. Ghana went as far as the final with coach Maxwell Konedu, who was in his third straight final in this tournament, and he was making looking to make history with the Black Stars B, but it wasn't to be. And I'll talk to you too about Michael Essien and his relationship with Jose Mourinho. We all know Michael Essien's time at Chelsea was a really memorable time for him. He played under the Portuguese manager and he was very, very fond of Michael Essien to the point that he even recommended Essien, loaned Essien from Chelsea to Real Madrid when he moved to Los Blancos. He says he sees Essien as his son. More details here on that and also i'll be talking to you today about the ghana black stars b who are preparing to face burkina faso in the second leg of the chan 2020 qualifiers if you're new to the channel or advise you to subscribe to this channel to click on the notification bell to get more updates so we all know the ghana black stars b took part in the just ended wafu 2019 tournament they were in the final against host senegal but it wasn't to be for the ghana black stars b Shafi Mumuni ended the tournament as the highest goal scorer, but we also earned another accolade after the tournament, and it was for coach Maxwell Konedu. He was crowned the best manager for the Wafu 2019 tournament after he led Ghana to his third straight final. Yes, so the Wafu 2019 Best Coach Award went to coach Maxwell Konedu for his amazing exploit with the Ghana Black Stars B at this tournament. It wasn't to be a third time in a row winning the tournament but he led them to an amazing tournament we beat Burkina Faso on penalties beat Zambia in our first game then we went on to beat Burkina Faso on penalties we beat Ivory Coast before eventually being stopped in our tracks by Senegal now Maxwell Konedu who led the team to the final has been crowned as the best coach of the tournament at the Jess and then Wafu Cup of Nations. The former Black Stars A coach beat Senegal Gaffa Serenia Saliu Dia to the coveted award. Konedu led his team to the final of the competition where they lost to host Senegal 3 1 on penalties. Trailing 1 0 in extra time, Joseph Esso equalized to push the game to penalties where Ghana missed three spot kicks to relinquish the title to Senegal. The former Asante Kotoko and Ghana player saw his side beat Gambia, Burkina Faso, and brush aside Ivory Coast to reach the finals. In those four games at the tournament, the Black Stars were composed and produced some of the best football at the tournament. Koned and his boys will shift their attention now to the second leg of the Chan 2020 qualifier against Burkina Faso. And speaking of the Chan 2020 qualifier, the boys are preparing seriously for that game. You know Burkina Faso on the two previous occasions that we missed out on the Chan in 2016 and 2018, they were the team that knocked us out. And hopefully the Black Stars B will learn their lesson. They beat Burkina Faso on penalties in the Wafu tournament. Hopefully they picked up a few lessons there and can do the job, finish the job in Ouagadougou. They are training now and hopefully they can get the job done eventually when it is time for that. They'll be facing Burkina Faso this Friday, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow they'll be facing Burkina Faso on the 18th of October in Ouagadougou. And hopefully the Black Stars B will get the job done and move on to the Chan 2020. It's been a long while we've been there. We've missed the last two editions. Hopefully this time we can be represented at that Chan tournament i move on to my next story it has to do with jose Mourinho and his love for ghanian player michael essien now Mourinho, we all know was the manager of chelsea when michael essien moved that side from leon and we all know they have had a batting relationship Mourinho has not hidden his love for michael essien and he even calls him his son now the former chelsea and manchester united coach Mourinho described his relationship with ex-chelsea legend Michael Essien as a father and son relationship. Mourinho brought Essien to Chelsea in 2005 for a fee of around £26 million, which became a record fee. He went on to become a firm favorite at Stamford Bridge, 
making over 250 appearances, winning the Champions League and the Premier League along the way. The Ghana international played his best football at the Mourinho, where they later reunited at Real Madrid. Now, Mourinho was asked in an interview his relationship with the Ghana Chelsea legend, and he said that he's like a son to me. ACM played for top sides in Europe, such as Real Madrid, AC Milan, Chelsea, and Leon. So Michael Essien and Jose Mourinho, they're sharing a really, really, really interesting relationship. Mourinho says Essien took him to his house, has taken him to his house before. They've had a conversation with his family before, and it's, it's, it's a budding, it's a great, great friendship that these two have. Jose Mourinho seems like a great guy, and Michael Essien is lucky to know him. To my final story, and it has to do with Thomas Party once again, it's like, Thomas Bate is dominating my news of late. Arsenal have expressed interest in the Ghanaian player, another club interested in him. But yesterday I brought you a news saying that Thomas Bate's club at Let's Go Madrid are looking to skewer him down by doubling his salary. But will this Arsenal, latest Arsenal interest, peak his interest? Now Arsenal are interested in bringing at Let's Go Madrid star Thomas Bate to the Emirates in the next transfer window. That is next month, 2020, June. Pate had his release clause set at 50 million euros and his incredible performances this season has seen him pop up on the radar of most of the top clubs in Europe including Real Madrid. According to reports, Atletico Madrid are worried over the growing concern of interest for their star midfielder and are planning on increasing his salary and contract agreements. Atletico Madrid will make a set his release clause 200 million euros pass as i reported to you yesterday now party is currently the boss of the atletico madrid midfield as he has formed a good partnership with koke and saul Niguez. one of the main reasons that party has grown as a footballer is coach diego simeone the tactical philosophy of the argentine coach known for giving his players a more aggressive and notorious style has been decisive for his growth Pate has been progressing since his debut as Atletico Madrid in the 2015-2016 season. So that's there with Thomas Pate, Arsenal, a team of interest for him. Should he listen to this office? Do you think Arsenal, Real Madrid and Manchester United also on the radar? Or he should focus on his increased salary with Atletico Madrid and stick with them. Your thoughts are welcome in the comments box. I'll be speaking to you about Jose Mourinho's amazing relationship with Michael Essien during his time at Chelsea. He regards Essien as his son and Maxwell Konedu, the best coach of Wafu 2019. Do you agree with that assertion? Is Was he the best coach in your opinion? The Black Stars be preparing for that Chan 2020 qualifier game tomorrow with Burkina Faso. Who do you think will win it? Can the Black Stars be make it to the Chan 2020? next year i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day have a great weekend you had a very very special relationship with jose Mourinho. Um, that we had earlier the interview yeah yeah and of course you know you played under him twice and of course we have something that we want to show you and we want to know your thoughts about so uh, Michael, a little surprise check this out this is for you just finally we have to say because michael essien is watching this he's in the studio and you had some great years with, with Michael, and, and it was sad that his career was cut short by injury. Have you got some funny stories for us, perhaps you can tell us about? He was not my player, he's my son. You know, I'm, I'm his white daddy. Uh, you know, more than, more than stories, feelings. Feelings. And, um, and that's the feeling, is more than is more than than a player for me and um, he was probably the one that took me to his home to the real home um, to the place where he was born to the streets where he was um, playing football as a, as a kid to meet the mom to meet the friends to meet everyone that grew up with him in in ghana he made me fall in love with with the country uh, with uh, with Accra with the place where he was living because then I understand better the mentality I understand better why as a player he was ready for everything he was ready to die for uh, 
the fellow player, for the club, for the manager. He was ready to play like he did for me in Real Madrid with um, with a knee that was, was not a knee anymore, was a destroyed knee and uh, with that personality, that desire, that, that mentality, suffering, but always suffering, but always with a with a smile and Michael f smiles a lot with his eyes. I, you know, I loved so so many of my players, but I, I think Michael would be in the podium for sure.